I'm, I'm glad that you could make it today. And I want to help people understand a little bit of who you are and what's happened since working in the 90 Day Thrive. So would you like to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself and what's transpired in the program? Yeah, my name's Justin. I own a construction company. What was the impetus for you to jump into the work with me? What was going on in your life? Yeah, I think it was just next steps in, in this kind of journey that I'm on. And I told you, I heard you on a podcast and like something just kept pulling me. And then I researched you for hours. And then finally, I, then I finally reached out to you. The immediate change I saw probably within, I think it was like a couple of weeks, was my wife completely did like a 180. Our relationship got way, way better. The other thing that was weird is some of the people I was hanging around before just went away. I really noticed a major difference, but it was only a couple of weeks in. With the business, I was pretty nervous. <laughs> what was going on that was causing you to be feeling nervous? Our business was good. And then something oh. happened where all the work went away and it, I was about to lose everything. And then all of a sudden, just millions in contracts have been coming in, like basically at the verge of bankruptcy, which is pretty crazy. So when we first started, I remember one of the goals that you had was to collect about $200,000 in receivables. How did that work out? Oh, that was good. That all worked. And the, the major thing with that one was we had one customer, he was just an awful person. And I don't think they were going to pay okay. us. But what happened was the guy that was really awful wasn't going to pay us. He actually got fired. And then once he was out of the picture, the CEO is the one that made sure we got paid. So that was pretty crazy. Sure. I forgot about that. I'm super pumped about these next contract. Yeah. <laughs> What, yeah. what, what were your specific goals and where, what did we achieve? Oh, shit. I, that is odd. I didn't even think about that. I wanted $4 million project. That was like the kind of benchmark. And the goal was this year, $12 million. And what's weird is we're probably going to hit somewhere between 10 and $12 million. In six know. months. Our training together was a total of three months. And so in that time frame. You've already set the bar for the rest of the year. Oh, yeah, for sure. And the two, we have multiple buildings in each area, but those contracts are basically for $4 million a piece. I didn't even think about it that way, but that's essentially what it, I think one's three and a half and one's four and a half or something like that. But yeah, I, that's crazy. So and all the goals you set, can you honestly say that you've achieved them all? They really have. What would you say is the overall biggest difference with yourself? You told me that anybody under the financial pressure that you've been under would buckle. How are you maneuvering family issues, your business, your people at work? How is it different? It's hard to put into words, really. But it's almost like a, a confidence or a knowing that I don't think I've ever had. I've always been confident and I always believed in stuff, but now it's like deep. I don't know how to explain it, but it's completely different for sure. Like you said, when the financial pressure, it was next level. And for me not to flip out about it, just trust the process and know yeah, that's yes. going to happen. I can't believe I did that in the first place, but especially the way everything was resetting. Like I lost all my business. And then it all came right back. Yeah, it was definitely a big deal. So for me, be, be able to do that without wavering was pretty crazy. That's awesome. Yeah. And of course, along the way, I remember you sharing a story about your son's tournament. They were losing and things were pretty bad. Would you yeah. hear that? This was early on. And they were at this baseball tournament. These are kids. I think they were all, they were eighth, eighth grade. And they were getting their asses whipped. Like they had no business being in this tournament. The first three games, they just got murdered. And so I tried starting to do all this stuff and something clicked and they won every single game after that and won the entire tournament. <laughs> so so it awesome. was crazy. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it's our inner secret, right? Using the yeah. quantum tools to manifest. So would you say that this program has amplified your ability to manifest whatever it is that you want? Oh yeah, absolutely. There's a hundred percent. 
it's definitely next level stuff. Very cool. So what would you say to anybody that might be considering taking a step and working with me in this training? I would probably say it's worth every penny and I would definitely do it. I, and I, I'm going to continue doing it. I'm not stopping here. Yeah. We're just getting going, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I'm delighted for all the manifestation that you've created and I promise more to come. So congratulations. You're doing amazing. Thank you very much for sharing that. I'll look forward to the next step.